Right, so, uh, there we go, now it's started. I'm here with Tom Clancy's Hawks. I haven't played this game for a good while, but I'm actually fairly decent at this game, surprisingly. There's only a couple of missions that I will have trouble on. I know what missions they are, and so, let's get into this. I am actually running this on, um, pretty much maximum settings. The only thing that isn't on the highest setting is ambient occlusion. Um, because... Uh, I don't see the point in that, I can't bother to change it. So, yeah, ambient occlusion is the it's not on the highest, everything else is maxed out, because I'm running this on DX10 mode. So, the only lag that I should get will be loading lag, which you can slap my game hard drive for, because it's not a particularly fast drive. And I currently don't have the money to change that. Um, when I get my new processor, if I manage to get an SSD at the same time, then then I'll have the money to change it because I'd choose my current main drive for my games until I can buy a Seagate Momentus XT but until then right um I know how to use this no. Yay! Right, um, what was I saying? I'm picking up a rebel convoy at one, four, niner. You're clear to engage. Watch that, Citadel. Okay, guys, let's go to work. I know how to do this, you don't need to tell me. Right. Um, that's the point. I'm gonna check that, um, the voice controls are turned off. Um, no, I don't want them on, I want them off. Because I don't want to start randomly firing missiles when I don't want to. But yeah, well, I don't know what I was saying before that. So I'm actually going to have a bit of a complaint in this session. I'm going to complain about my ISP, which is Virgin Media. And they have brought out, I won't say recently, they brought out probably to start this month, they brought out a new traffic management policy, which means it makes uploading slightly difficult because my upload speed at the moment is only 5 megabits. It's not great. Um, but what they've done is after 950 megs of uploaded data like an uploaded file they will limit the speed for an hour by 60% um, they will also if you carry on up to 1300 megabytes they will limit it by 75% for two hours and it's only meant to affect the upload speed but when, it, when I was hitting it um, it was halving my download to about 55 megs and Basically, it, it shouldn't be doing that. Like a quarter, like seventy-five percent of, um, or after a seventy-five percent speed reduction, my upload speed should be one point two five megs, or one point two five megabits. Um, it wasn't. It was like under one megabit, and it's so, it's so atrocious. It's meant to be unlimited internet. It's not unlimited at all. It's entirely limited, and so <sighs> it just makes me want to shout. Because in a world where everything's increasingly done on the cloud, you need a decent upload speed. You, and you can't limit that. You, or you shouldn't limit it that severely. Because it, it's, people store their stuff on like Dropbox and Box.com and all of that. They store stuff there. It, it's, it's a fact. It's what happens now. People store stuff on the internet and it's not all stored in the computer anymore. And you need an upload speed for that. Like BT Infinity. I'm not a fan of BT. But they're bringing out BT Infinity in my area, and I won't get as quick a download, I'll get like 76 megs down, but I'll get nearly 20 megs up. Whereas at Virgin, the most that they can offer up is like 12 meg up. It's, it's, it's ridiculous, because even on their business broadband, you can get 100 down and 100 up. And I think they offer gigabit as well for their business broadband, which is like a gig down and probably a gig up. And Oh, that was some severe lag. Something's happening. Um, what is happening to my game? Oh god. Okay, so I'm back with. Uh, I'm back again. Like a window or something appeared behind my game and crashed it. And I couldn't get to the window to close it to see if I could sort of recover. But there we go. So I was in the process of complaining about my ISP. Um. Yeah, their, their upload speed is it's ridiculous. It's like, 
I'm paying a decent amount for their services, and I like their services. I've never really had any. Uh, I've never had any too big problems with them. Now, that sentence didn't make sense. I've never had any big problems with them, is what I was trying to say, or something to that effect. Or nothing major with them. I've had a few little things, but nothing else. Nothing that couldn't be sorted. Um, but this upload speed stuff, and this stupid traffic management. You know, I could deal with the old traffic management. If I uploaded, like, 10 gigs in a certain time, they, they would limit speed for 5 hours. I can live with that. I don't care. Because I would make sure to upload below that limit, and then just upload stuff later on. But it's... <sighs> Really? There we go. Right. It's, it's, it's just ridiculous, this new traffic management. I don't like it. If I download four and a half gigs during the day, they'll limit my uh, limit my download. I'm not too worried about. They'll limit the download by like 30 to 40 percent. That's not a great deal in, in all reality because I have 100 meg down. It's, it's really not that big of a worry. It's still like 70 odd megs down download that I'll get. But the upload, that's what I'm pissed about. Because I usually upload, my video files aren't exactly the smallest, like my train simulator ones, a half hour video is just over a gig. Um, that, that's why I mainly render 720p, because of file sizes, and uploading said files, it's, they're big files in 1080p. I, if I could use 1080p, I would. If, if I had a better upload, I would use 1080p, and if I had more hard drive space that I render on, I'd use 1080p, because it's better quality than 720 um, but I can't, and I record directly to 720p now, so while it actually works better this way. Yeah, I know, I guess I should probably go for these ones over here first. I am just using my rudder to turn, rather than, like, pivoting, or t I can't think of the word that I want now. Leaning, I suppose. Let me shoot, there we go. Right, let's take all them. You know anything about this game? There is a tutorial a few missions in, or after this mission. I don't get why they should have the tutorial here now. This should be the tutorial, not what they do in a bit, which bugs me. I don't know why they do that, but they do. Let's spin around, do a barrel roll. They're talking. I probably actually. Um, I don't think there's subtitles in this game. Let me see if there's subtitles. I don't think there is. General settings, in-game chat, no, 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 no. Video settings, no, it's not under there. Audio. No, there aren't any subtitles in this game as far as I know, so... I apologise for that. If I can find some, I will, but I don't think there are. But just so you know, my video settings, this is what's running at. And that's Max, um, I have V-Sync on, I always have V-Sync on. Advanced, that's all maxed out, can't go any higher. And DX10, the only thing that's not turned up is the ambient occlusion. Uh, why is that turned off? Oh, of course, my graphic settings reset themselves, so let's turn that back on and apply. Because everything reset itself when my game crashed, so let's do this. Video settings have been changed, just want to save them. But there we go. Right, that's, that's my graphic settings. But listen to that, more of the game. I need to gain height. Uh, <laughs> let's just go straight up, straight up. Just drop myself down here. Hold the brakes on and hmm, some machine gun fire. Or just free fire some missiles at them. There we go. No, you're not. I took them out. Don't worry about them. I am using all my frames. There we go. That's better. I am actually using a PS3 control rather than a joystick because. I find the joystick too clunky in this game and my joystick doesn't actually work properly at the moment. I need to replace its USB cable. Yeah, I know, you don't need to tell me, jeez. 
I mean, that helicopter's dead. I don't need to use the ERS to get to this helicopter. Same for this one over here. Same thing goes for it. Same thing goes for this. I can take this out perfectly fine. Just do that upside down. I don't think that's going to hit it. No, I didn't think it was. Now it should. There we go. I've got an itchy leg. That's better. Right. What's attacking them now? Jesus. These guys are helpless. They really are. Alright, let's fly my ass over here. Is my... Is the voice controls on again? No, they're not good. I don't want voice commands. I mean, they're cool and everything, but it makes you look like a right prick when you're playing the game. Yeah, that guy's done. Yeah, I know. Stop fucking tack map. Go away. Let's take out this helicopter as well. It's a shame it's an Apache, and I didn't start my timer again. There we go, take that one, and let's take loading lag, let's take out this helicopter, and let's take this, pop on my brakes, take him, 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 this guy. There we go, right, now, helicopter. Look at that guy. Goodbye. It's not a plane, it's a helicopter. There's a difference. Start my timer up so I know actually how long I've been recording for now. I have no idea. Could be anything. And goodbye. I know it was. Is it a Chinook? Because I like Chinooks. I'm going to fly over and find out. Damn it! You motherfucker. Oh, some aircraft. I'll take... Let me take on these sons of bitches. And they're an SQ-27s. Which is closer. I only have joint strikes. Yeah. Oh well. More EAAs would have been nicer. I should take those and. Son of a bitch, I didn't want to do that yet. There we go, still got him anyway. No, they're not. They're dead. See? Dead. Told you. Same as this guy here. Dead. Oh, he dodged it. He is, he's got some moves. This guy. This guy has some moves. Not enough. You don't got enough moves, buddy. Told you. So like I say, I, I, I'm playing this with my PS3 control. You haven't got a lock on me, son of a bitch. You ain't good enough to have a lock on me. Let's spin around and go over here. And you, sir. You, you, yeah. You're dead. No, I haven't. Still got a No, I haven't got a lock on me anymore. I want to go and play with this helicopter because I want to see what it is. Come on, Mac 2. Also, if you haven't watched my Tomb Raider playthrough, you will now know that I'm playing my Hex Core again, because I switched it over earlier. I, I missed it too much. I really did. Is this a Chinook? Yes, it is. Hell yeah. That's a wavy line. 
Yay, dirt trails. Enough I go. Also, don't expect me to be flying with this view because I won't. Cool as it looks. I fly with this one mainly. Yay, end of mission. Yay. Here, hold my beer while I do a backflip. Just so you know, I can't do backflips, so you'll be holding it for a long time. Ghost Rider complete. SU-25 unlocked. MiG-25 unlocked. Good. I want the A-10 Avenger. My name is Adrian De Winter. I created an Artemis Global Security with the intention of becoming the world's premier... Uh, uh, ...becoming the world's premier combined arms PMC. It's come to my attention that your squadron is about to be deactivated, and as a result you've decided to leave the United States Air Force staff for a long and very distinguished career. This is how fast I'm going to read this for all this time, so if you want to read the slower pause video. I'm only interested in the very best, and frankly you've, your name is at the top of my list. If you're still interested in pursuing a career as a combat pilot, I'd like you to contact us. I think that you'll find our compensation and benefits package to be much more generous than what you received as a member of the US Armed Forces. Yours sincerely, Adrian DeWinter, CEO of Artemis Global Security, and then he signed it. And I'm going to have a drink.